Bortle here, but not there. Just want to congratulate Dylan on getting second place at the Maximum Gold Case Tournament out in West Texas, hosted by Croc Cards, using pure Zodiacs. Oh, God, yes. And if you want to get one of these play mats featured in the video, just contact us via social media down below. Everything's in the description, guys. Without further ado, take a look with the rest of the deck profile, man. Hey, guys, this is Adam with Team Golden Age doing a deck profile. Uh, we just got finished with a case tournament. Who are you and what did you do? Hello, my name's Dylan Torres and I got second place at the gold case tournament playing cool. Zodiac. Man, that's pretty hot. Let's see what you got. Uh, before we start, I'd like to give the shout out. So shout outs to the sponsors of this event, uh, Team Bortle and Team Golden Age. Look at that. His famous words, oh God, yes. Oh God, yes. And uh, shout outs to my brother Gio. He's helped me a lot. Uh, and shout outs especially to uh, Lorenzo Ivan Dominguez. He built this deck for me. I made some changes and I played the deck. Awesome, man. Let's go ahead and see what you got. Uh, so versus three Thoroughblade, three Whip Cell, three Ram, and then one Rat. That's uh, all the Zodiac monsters. And you only played one Rat? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, then Pranker Tops, because this is specifically a going second deck. Um, and it just breaks boards. Then Hand Trap is three Ash, Stainy Beer, and then three Impermanence. I didn't play Gamma because I played other cards in my deck that I thought were a little bit better. Uh, were you really heavily prepared for combo with the three, uh, the three Nibiru? Um, I, I would say, I would say, yeah. Um, I, I wanted to take it out, but I expected combo more than uh, back row, and that, that's what I was afraid of more was just back row. But Zeus is just a broken card, so Nibiru is nice. And then spells is three tanky. I played three Mystic Mind in the main deck. So like I said, it's going second deck, and then. Summoning Zeus under this card is actually insane against like a full combo deck. Um, <laughs> I broke boards every time I activated this. And I main deck three Dark Ruler. Wow. Uh, it's for a combo. Um, and it also with like Zeus, as long as your XYZ battles, you can summon Zeus and then clear the board still. And with that, I played Raigeki, Dark Hole, and Lightning Storm. <laughs> Seems like a pretty odd combo. Yeah. Uh, just I played them just because I played Dark Ruler, and you could break boards and still summon, like, even the uh, Mega Clops. Makes sense. How many in the main deck? Uh, 42. And three Desires. Play two Avarice. Um, well, only two. I see a lot of builds playing three. I just didn't want to uh, dead draw this card. Because well, usually, if you're going first, you just end like on a Dryden. Um, and that's, that's like four summons because you don't want to play around, or you don't want to get in a beard. You didn't even need the second one. The first one just did enough because I also play Zodiac combo. And this this is a uh, searchable off of uh, Rat Pier because you send it with Rat and then you target five zoos in your grave and shuffle them back. Now, a lot of people don't play that card for some reason. Also, like another thing it does is you can target a XYZ zoo that you control and attach one from your deck to the... Zodiac monster on your field. That's pretty good. And then two cosmic for all the back row decks. Uh, Barrage and then Reborn. This card summons back like uh, your Zodiac monsters and then you can make uh, Chaka 9 and attach stuff to Dryden. Extra deck, Dryden, three Chaka 9, uh, two Tiger, two Borobo, and one Hammercon. I think this is standard. Uh, you could play three Tiger Mortar. The only reason why I played two is because I played the B thing. It was only for time, but I, I've only summoned it like once and I don't think I really needed it. It's just there for time. And then two Zeus. This card is absolutely insane. This is what makes Zodiac able to go first or second. Probably usually one. And then against the Invoke deck I played Nova and Mechaba. How'd that work out for you today? I uh, only played against one Invoke player, which was in the finals. Uh, I used it once, and it, like, Mechaba got me there. But I ended up losing that game still. But it, it was pretty cool. It's there just in case. Okay. And then Mega Clops, because this card is good against, like, all the anti meta decks and some of the combo decks as well. It's a pretty unfair card. It really is unfair. <laughs> <laughs> and then side deck is three Judgment. Uh, just in case my opponent makes me go first, I play these. Same with Waking in the Dragon. Um, because of Lightning Storms and like Twin Twisters, uh, you just summon Mega Clops with like a Dryden. It's a free summon. Yeah. 
Did you get to resolve that today? I did not. I always sighted in and I never saw it. I'd keep playing it just in case. Uh, three Gamma Seal. It was there for all the combo decks, especially Dragoons, because this deck kind of has a hard time getting over Dragoons. Uh, and it gets Winda as well. Okay. And then three lands here. Uh, it was only there for the Invoke deck, and I guess Dragon Links, but it was alright. I decided to call by him. Okay. Uh, like I said, just in case they make me go first, I want to have cards that allow me to play going first. RP Feather Duster, just for more back row. Just more back row hate. Yeah. And same with the Vimy for combo and like back row decks. That's it. And so, how, how do you think uh, overall that deck performed for you? Uh, it was pretty well. There's a couple of changes I would make still. Um, I was testing out the Dark Ruler still, but I think, honestly, it probably should have been Gamma. Any deck give you a hard time today? Um, just the Invoke deck, but well, that was pretty much it. Right on. Until next time, guys. Thanks.